Yeah. Today I am going to discuss how to convert the epsilon NFA to DFA. So here this is the second problem on this topic we are discussing. So what is epsilon closure of Q0? So how to identify the epsilon closure of Q0 on epsilon transitions? We should find from the state Q0 to which are all the state it is movable. Epsilon closure of Q0 is from this graph. It is Q0, epsilon transition, it is moving to Q1. From Q1 on epsilon transition, it is moving to Q2. So, epsilon closure of Q0 is what? Q0, Q1, Q2. Then, what is epsilon closure of Q1? How to write the epsilon closure of Q1? All the epsilon transitions which are movable from the state Q1 is the epsilon closure of Q1. So, it is Q1 on epsilon transition, it is moving to Q2. So, Q1 and Q2 is the epsilon closure of Q1. What is the epsilon closure of Q2? Epsilon closure, how do we write Q2? Epsilon closure of Q2 is, we don't have any epsilon transitions from Q2. It is Q2 itself. So, this is how we write the epsilon closures for Q0, Q1 and Q2. So, with this basic idea, we will try to convert this NFA to DFA. So, now, how to convert this NFA to DFA? Step 1 is, whatever is the starting state for the NFA, that only will be the starting state for the DFA also. So, here, the starting state of the DFA, QOD is equal to epsilon closure of the starting state of the NFA, that is, epsilon closure of Q0. So, what is epsilon closure of Q0? It is Q0, Q1, Q2 on epsilon transition. Q0 on epsilon Q1, Q1 on epsilon it is going to Q2. So, epsilon closure of Q0 is Q0, Q1 and Q2. So, this is a new state we have identified, named this state as A. Now, on input, find the transitions for this new state A on A. That is transition of A on A. We have three symbols here, A, B and C. The alphabet set has three symbols. So, transition of A on A, A on B, A on C we should compute. Which is equal to what now? A on A is equal to epsilon closure of this. A means what? Epsilon, A means it is Q0, Q1, Q2 on small a we should write. A means this is the state. A is equal to Q0, Q1, Q2. Which is equal to what? Epsilon closure of Q0 on A, where it is moving, should take the union of all these on A. Q0 on A, it is moving to Q0. Then, Q1 on A, we don't have transition. Q2 on A, we don't have transition. So, we got only Q0. So, what is epsilon closure of Q0? Epsilon closure of Q0 is, see, Q0 on epsilon Q1, Q1 on epsilon, it is going to Q2. So, which is equal to Q0, Q1, Q2 which is same as the state A itself, Q0, Q1, Q2. So, A on A, A on A, it is going to A itself. Find transition of A on B now, which is equal to epsilon closure of A means what? Q0, Q1, Q2 on B we should identify, which is equal to epsilon closure of Q0 on B where it is moving, no transition. Q1 on B, it is to Q1 itself. Then Q2 on B, no transition. So what is epsilon closure of Q1? Epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1 and Q2. Q1, Q2. So this is the new state we got. Name the state as B. Now find the transition A on C. A on C is equal to epsilon closure of Q0, Q1, Q2 on C. Now, which is equal to what? Epsilon closure of Q0 on C, we don't have a transition. Q1 on C, we don't have a transition. Q2 on C, it is going to Q2 itself. So, what is epsilon closure of Q2? It is Q2 itself, no epsilon transition. So, this is the new state. Again, Q2 we got. Name this state as C. So, we will write the transition table here. That is TOD. We have three input symbols. A, B and C. Now we are writing for A. A on A, it is moving to A. A on B, to B. 
A on C, it is moving to a new state C. So B and C are the new states we got. So we should find the transitions for B and C. On input symbol A, B, C, we should identify. The same procedure. Now compute for B. Now find on input. Transition from B on A. So here, what is B here? B is Q1, Q2. That is epsilon closure of toe n of B on A we should identify which is equal to epsilon closure of toe n of B means what we have computed Q1 and Q2. Q1 and Q2 on A we should identify now which is equal to epsilon closure of Q1 on A we don't have a transition. Here Q1, Q2 on A. Q1 we don't have transition, Q2 also we don't have a transition, so we have null. So epsilon closure of null is what? Null itself. So B on A it is null. Similarly find transition of B on B, which is equal to what? Epsilon closure of B means what? Q1, Q2. On B we should identify, which is equal to epsilon closure of. Q1 on B it is Q1 itself. Q2 on B, we don't have a transition. So what is epsilon closure of Q1? Epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1, Q2. Q1, Q2. This is same as what? It is same as the state B. So B on B, B on B, it is moving to B. Okay guys. Now find what is transition of B on C. B on C is equal to what? Epsilon closure of B means Q0, Q1, Q2. On C, we should identify now. So, Q1, on C, we don't have a transition. But Q2, on C, we have a transition, Q2. So, epsilon closure of Q2 is what? Q2 itself. This is same as state C. So, here B on C, it is nothing but C itself. Next, find C on A. So, we didn't get any new states. So, already we have added B and C. The same states are there. Now find transition of C on A, which is equal to epsilon closure of to A N of C means what now? C means Q2. Q2 on A. So Q2 on A, we don't have any transition. It is null. So it is null itself. So C on A, it is null. Similarly find what is C on B, which is equal to epsilon closure of Q2 on B. Q2 on B, we don't have a transition. It is null. So, Q C on B, it is null. And check, find transition of C on C, which is equal to epsilon closure of Q2 on C. So, Q2 on C, where it is moving? Q2 on C, it is to the C itself. Q2 itself. So, epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2 itself. So, it is same state C. So, C on C, it is moving to where? It is moving to C itself. So, we didn't get any states. We got only three states. Okay. So, now, this is our DFA. A is our starting state since Q0 is present in A. And here, Q2 is our final state. Q2 is present where it is C state. So, this will be our final state. Now, we have converted the NFA to DFA. So, we got only three states for this. And now we will construct the equivalent transition graph for this NFA. So write the transition graph. So here wherever Q2 is present, all those will be the final state. So in state A, it is Q0, Q1, Q2. So state A also will be our final state. In state B, we have Q1 and Q2. Q2 is present in state B also. This also will be our final state. And Q2 is present in C. So, C is also our final state. So, totally we have three final states. Now, you write the transition graph. That is A on A. It is going to A itself. On B, it is going to B. And on C. On C, it is moving to the state C. Then B on A. We don't have a transition. B on B. Self loop. B on C it is moving to the state C. 
then C on A it is null, C on B it is null, that is 5, null and C on C it is C itself, self loop. C on C it is self loop. Now we know all this since Q2 is present in all these three states, all these three states will be our final state. So now we have converted at these NFA to equivalent DFA. Hope you have understood. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.